Hi, today I got this phone corner from Redline and it is the Hex30 U10 I pre-opened it I repaired it before let me show you I repaired this um, SIM card slot because it was uh, broken I got this uh, SIM card slot and replace it already but after the replacement problems there it is um, when I put the battery on and then put it to charging the vibrators keep going on but the phone is not turned on so today what I want to do is to disorder this one and then uh, back to that uh, maybe I, when I saw that I, I wasn't um, did I, I didn't do a good job and now I disorder this one see if uh, this problem we gotten Disconnected, disconnected, everything stopped. And now I start my desoldering. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, share with your friends. Uh, this is my first time using the hot gun on the video. I used it before, but not on the video. And uh, desolder this very tiny bit. Um, it's hard to see that I don't have a nice camera and what I can do is just and then use this magnifier to show you the thing but this video is based on this normal camera so uh, please bear with me you may, got, uh, you, you may not see it very well but uh, I will uh, do a uh, better uh, video next time and if you are still interested please continue to uh, to watch this video to the end. Thank you. What I need uh, is a uh, soldering flux. Any flux we do is a uh, lead-free soldering flux, and um, this is a liquid base. I use a syringe to uh, get some of these out. So I have to, uh, a syringe, so it's uh, easier for me to control. Uh, what I need and get the uh, gas out besides that I may need some soldering paste you can use this one or that one this video is very basic technique so uh, for the new, for the beginner who haven't used that before, I give you a good idea what uh, we have here and it's a uh, soldering paste actually it's the uh, same as the uh, same as this one but in uh, like a mug right? so paste form so you can uh, put it on the circuit board and then you can use the hot gun And this is a low temperature one. So uh, with the not very hot, good hot gun, it is a mild mouth. This is uh, easier to control. What I have on this one is the uh, SMD reverse station. And uh, let me turn it on. You will hear the sound. Here you can control the air flow. And here, this one is the uh, temperature. We can start with uh, 250 degree for the low temperature soldering, or even uh, hotter for the uh, normal normal use. So on this one is the uh, hot gun. I can feel the hot air is coming out very soon after this heat up. Let me turn this off 
for now. And uh, we have this different size of the, the with the nozzle. You can change. Today uh, we work on this one, so we need a pretty uh, narrow nozzle. Hopefully, I will change to uh, this one. Okay, I've changed it this small nozzle, so let's start now. Um, I took the motherboard out, as you can see here, bear with my camera, so I uh, saw the last time, it uh, probably apparently did a uh, quite a good job, but uh, maybe some short circuit, uh, because I uh, cannot see the thing underneath, and here probably there is a, uh, on my fingertip, there's some, one component is missing, I'm not sure. So um, on the other side, we can can pair with it. This is a good one, I, I didn't change it. So here, maybe last time I changed it, uh, I blow that component away. Probably it is a, uh, I don't know, maybe a resistor. I test over this side, the, um, the ground is connected uh, properly and all the components sounds good and uh, maybe I also um, put too much heat on this board inside it is a chip with some other component inside maybe I I uh, heat it too much but today anyway we, what I'm trying to do is to uh, take this out and then clean it to see uh, what I uh, back to a better better state. Today I will try to fix this uh, hot air again. Uh, mode is right A60D SMD revert station with this uh, hot air gun. I moved um, this station from place to place and it says uh, there is a screw. Uh, remove the pump securing screw, uh, mud red, torn to the bottom of the 850 station before operating. How this may result in serious problems. So, uh, turn this over. show you the bottom you mean the free screw here so uh, every time when you um, move this from place to place put the screws back to secure I think it's pump inside and uh, when you uh, use it again remove the screw so please take this M5 screw swan spelling out before use so uh, I have done it but then, then uh, when I turn it on, it had the problem. I will show you. OK, 
Okay, I turn it on for PI. Yeah, it says it operates normally, sounds normally, and the guns there is some air. You can hear that and the pump is breathing. And I now put it like this. Adjust the uh, airflow. There's more air there. And adjust the temperature. He says uh, 5 dash E Celsius or S E, something like that. And then uh, the station will turn off by itself. So uh, let's try to open the case, see what's inside, see if I make any damage uh, when I moving this station from place to place <laughs> so now stop is says stand to and it we errors remain here and it stops and no more noise the pump stops It's just a screw on the side. Okay, I think I can open it. So let me check. It is a palm. It is a uh, flexible to move, but it's quite loose. Don't know. You connect to that um, to the plastic thing here. It's very flexible to move. And uh, here is the circuit board. I want to check any loose wire, and uh, this connect to the. Here connect to the hose, to the gun outside, the case. All right. So let's see if anything wrong with the circuit board. Here's some marking, but I think uh, this should be fine. Maybe some burn mark. This red, uh, this blue wire connect to the uh, transformer. To supply that uh, power, I think it is. Um, so this two is power. It's good. All others here sounds normal. So what is the problem? Okay, so let me check this one. And there are uh, three screws here. 